Hello everyone! Hope you are all doing well and that you are prepared because we're playing a new game today. Um, this is I the Somnium Files from the mind of Mr. Uchikoshi who brought us the lovely Zero Escape series that I have played the trilogy of on this channel before. Um, so I'm very excited just knowing that alone. Um, I will be going into this game blind. The only things that I do know about this game is that it's pronounced I. <laughs> and that we'll be playing as a detective of some sort, solving murders. Um, I do also know of a YouTube channel that was set up before this game came out as like, I guess a marketing thing for the game. Um, they had one of the characters running a YouTube channel. I she's supposed to be like an idol streamer or something and uh it kind of gives you i guess an idea of what some of the things in the game will be she talks about like this cult organizing things behind the scenes um she talks about going into people's dreams um, she ends every video by saying there'll be a video next week unless I'm abducted or something. And she does get abducted in the, the videos. And there's one weird video where she is like on a slab unconscious, one of her eyes is missing, and there's a polar bear about to cut her in half. It's a weird... <laughs> YouTube channel. I watched um, all of the videos in it except for the ones that mentioned like a let's play of this game specifically um, because I figure I, I want to see the game for myself the first time. Uh, but yeah, if you hear me reference anything, um, I'll link the channel down below in case you're interested in looking at that before you watch along with this. But, um, yeah, I guess we're gonna get started with it. Yeah, nothing else to say. <laughs> Language. Oh, what the heck? I can only use the D-pad. <laughs> Why is that? English. Starting the game with English, uh, yes. I will not need to switch it. This game supports autosave. Alright, good to know. It's fictitious. Wow, starting off so cinematic. <laughs> oh my god, the circusy music playing? I already know that this game is gonna be very much my vibe. They even showed, like, actually, I think we're there right now, but in the YouTube videos, they showed uh, an abandoned theme park, amusement park, whatever. Yep. 100% my vibe. I love abandoned places. I love amusement parks. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Uh, goodbye, <laughs> I guess. Starting off strong, someone's already dead. Oh. 
Is that us? I. Those Omnium files. What? Day one, Friday. Sig I? Bloom Park, Friday, 10.54 p.m. Oh, am I supposed to actually, like, press? Okay, I needed to press a button. <laughs> All right. What's up with the the lines in the background? Is that, like, futuristic caution tape? What? <laughs> uh, already jumping into the- okay. Investigation. During investigations, the main character, Date, inspects scenes and collects testimony. Progress by examining objects and talking to people. Okay. Um... I don't like the weird eyeball thing pointing. I mostly don't like the, like, I don't know what it's called, the thing that's at the back of the eyeball hanging down in his body. Date's position is fixed, but you can move the cursor and your view. Try looking around and moving the cursor to find something that catches your eye and inspect it. So it's gonna be similar, I assume, to Zero Escape, like 999 and stuff. Yeah. A panda! Um, boss. What? Choices and look. When you speak to a person, you will be presented with choices and look. Use choices to select the topic of conversation. Look will allow you to observe the person you're speaking to. Um, let me look first, I guess. I call her boss. She runs Abyss, a special branch of the Metropolitan Police Department. I report directly to her. Okay. What do we got? Any suspects? So what am I doing here? Who found the body? This rain is awful, huh? <laughs> um, I like the rain, so I'm not gonna say that. Uh, and why would I say, so what am I doing here? Um, who found the body? Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. Okay. After finishing discussing a topic with someone, they may have new things to talk about. When talking to people, choose topics that interest you. You might obtain information, important information or clues. Selecting log will allow you to recap any previous conversations. Okay. Oh, so I can just say all the things. Um, what can you tell me about the victim? Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? Did I? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. Oh? I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. Okay. <laughs> That's quite the difference, being very close and being acquaintances. Uh, any suspects? Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. From the case six years ago. Mm -hmm. Case six years ago? For whatever reason, she didn't elaborate. A case six years ago. I know that in on the YouTube- I'm gonna be referencing that YouTube channel a lot- on the YouTube channel a lot. Um, what's her name? Tessa references murders that took place six years ago. 
So I assume that's what they're talking about. Sure, this rain is awful. It's huh? unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. And what am I doing here? Are you serious? <laughs> Your special agent, Kaname Date. Thanks. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Is it not? Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. Okay. Skewered horse. The horse from the merry-go-round. It looks like it's skewered. This is not a message from the criminal. Hello? <laughs> You're just here? No introduction? Just there? The park was already in this state before the crime. My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. That would have to be a couple of teenagers. It's a lot of effort <laughs> to do that. Uh, pole? What am I looking at? I thought there... Po po oh no, that'll bring me to the body. Never mind. Policeman, what do you got? How's the investigation coming? Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. Good talking to you. <laughs> what about you? A local cop. Not even anything to say. That's an inspector. I'll talk to you later. Control room. Is this the control room? The place where the operator sits to turn the ride on and off. I took a look inside, but I didn't see anything that might be a clue. Okay. Oh, you can click the panda. The panda ride looks lonely. You should go sit on it then. That's a bench. Does the bench look lonely? Why can I? There's so many things that you can <laughs> interact with. The old Ferris wheel is over there. It feels like an enormous eye staring down at you. Spooky. Barrier. A red barrier line wraps around the scene. In the old days, they used to use yellow caution tape for this. <laughs> okay, I was right. Now we've got a cheap hologram technology that can do the job even better. How does it do it even better? Does it put up an actual barrier? Well, sometimes we use good old fashioned yellow tape. Parasol is getting pelted by the rain. I don't know what's important to look at, so I'm looking at everything. I don't I've seen those before. Fence. There's a fence set up around the merry-go-round. Probably to prevent noisy kids from getting caught in the machinery. Um. Ins wait, what? Oh no, I already looked at that. Inspector. <laughs> What's your name? How are you doing? Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. <laughs> well, of course. It's Kagami, sir. Wow, nice to meet you, Kagami. I don't even get to see your eyes. <laughs> what happens if I ask again? It's Kagami, sir. <laughs> what? what was that? Kagami. Okay. Okay, just making sure it's still the same. You know, sometimes names change. You never know. Is this still your name? Are you serious? It's Kagami! <laughs> my bad, my bad. I, I just, okay. Uh, anything to go on? Not yet, sir. And what's your name? <laughs> I already learned his name. I don't need to ask him again. Okay. Fine. Uh, thanks for coming out here in this mess. It's my duty, sir, but Thank you. Well, fun. <laughs> no information, except uh, now I know your name. Uh, whatever it was. Uh, column. It's the main column holding up the roof. 
horse. Horse from the merry-go-round. I want to select... Oh wait, the roof? It's been eight years since Bloom Park closed. The weather has gotten to it pretty bad. Pole. It's a metal pole. Wow, thanks. Can I go over here? The body is mounted on one of the horses. I should get a better look. I took a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? How am I supposed to look at it? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. Oh, well, hurry up. <laughs> I appreciate your understanding. You spent so much time telling me your name. <laughs> Allow me to assist you. Huh? That's Iba. Her official designation is Eyeball. Ha. Huh. She's an artificial intelligence built into my fake eye. An eye for an eye. Heh. What? <laughs> you want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. Um, while playing through the story, Iba's special vision modes may help you obtain new information. You can now use the zoom mode to enlarge the target, select a zoom, and examine the corpse. You can also view the controls in that button. <laughs> uh, how do I? Okay. Oh, I have to click the stick? All right, interesting. Um, face. I am detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, all right? I'm just upset. For someone who is an acquaintance? Okay. The left eye socket is vacant. Victim has had her left eyeball removed left eye the most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it well we don't know that for sure <laughs> what else do you think happened <laughs> a bird flew down and ate her eye a crow or some other animal <laughs> that pulled it off the corpse <laughs> i mean impossible the amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death exactly carved it out while she was still alive correct okay body multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso cause of death blood loss from these wounds i don't actually see puncture wounds but body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago six hours ago should i be taking notes <laughs> let me get out a notepad I already forgot the name of the person who's died. Unfortunately, but I'll still make notes. <laughs> Six hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. Okay. Several puncture wounds, but no cuts or tears. That means... The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth, like an ice pick. Why is it always an ice pick? <laughs> what was that? What was that? Oh. Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Inside the column? Uh The noise came from inside. Exactly. Use me to see through the column. Utilize the x-ray mode. Uh okay. <laughs> x-ray. There's someone in there? Hello? <gasps> oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. 
How did they get in there? <laughs> I threw down my umbrella and ran to the pillar. They haven't taken hey, footprints wait. yet. Shut up. Why are you so... They didn't... They looked okay, I think. I pushed him aside and ran up on the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. Or does he think this is the person who did it? No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle on the column. I grabbed it hard and tried to pull it open. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it. Why would there be a lock on the inside of a column of... Huh? Hey, whoever's in there, stay back. Hello? Did you do it? Your whole- yep. <laughs> Izuki. Where's everybody getting all the ice picks from? I feel like it's always ice picks in these- <laughs> these kinds of games. <laughs> also, we know her? I like his outfit. There's a nice checkeredness on the side. Oh. Good night. Hello? What is this place? This is your dream. I'm... me. Correct. You are Date. <laughs> what? And you are? You're... What is going on? What is happening? Where do I even start with this? <laughs> I can answer all of your queries. All right then. Who are Why you? are you moving like that? <laughs> I don't even care who you are. Why are you doing that? <laughs> I'm me, of course. I know that voice. Iba? Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? You called me. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. Then why are we even here? <laughs> what, what are we doing? I'm trying to sort out my situation, but my brain isn't cooperating. It must be because I'm sleeping right now. So, things that I should know. I can't remember. My head's all fuzzy. I'm not my usual self. It's like I'm inside someone else's head. What a strange feeling. Putting that aside. Do you recognize this room? I actually do recognize this room because it was in that YouTube channel <laughs> that I talked about. No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? Somnium scan, activate. What? Oh my god, hitting the room with the binary. Hmm. Got it. Got what? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental lock number one. Convenient that it's labeled, huh? <laughs> mental locks? <laughs> now we know that this is the first one. Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, 
Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. Oh, there's the second. How many are there? This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply blocks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? Correct. We've... Why are we only now having this conversation? So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? I feel... Because, like, this is our eye, right? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. So what happened that's causing <laughs> this to be the conversation that's happening and this to be a person standing in front of us? Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. The door is there. I see. <laughs> so I can do whatever I want with you in this world. I don't like that face. Well, I suppose that is true, but... All right, let's do this. Wake Date up. Date's dream world. In this strange and surreal dream, trust the light to wake up Date. What? In Somnia, you explore a dream to discover the subject's hidden memories. Unlocking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream. Unlocking all of them will re reveal important information. A guide to unlocking the mental locks is displayed in the upper left corner. Turn on the light, okay. First, move Iba closer to the door and investigate. Oh, but I can move! Sorry, I'm just enjoying being able to move now. <laughs> Why is there a skeleton? Whose skeleton is that? Sorry, I want to look around. What are we eating? We got some eggs. We got some... Is that like dollar fries? What's going on? Sink, pot, nice kitchen. It's a pretty big microwave. Whatever that is, star thing, some kind of photo, a rose lamp, nice. Okay, I, wait, I had to turn on a light. Is that, is there a light switch? <laughs> I guess they want me to look at the door first. <laughs> door. A door locked with a padlock. Observant. When investigating things, you can choose from a number of options to give Iba instructions. For now, have Iba investigate the door. Wow, what should I do? Investigate. It appears all I have to do is open this door. <laughs> well, you, you having trouble? I can't touch it. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Date's Somnium, a reality built by dreams. Where did Date go, by the way? Is he the skeleton? <laughs> What's happening? My Somnium? <laughs> Where are you in this room? <laughs> I didn't see you. I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Okay, so is that why they're doing it this way? Like, it's in a dream so we can explain to the player how to play the game. <laughs> Shut up and listen. Date, look at that. Look at... The places the where the light, light switch. touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself Hello? becomes malleable. <gasps> Who was that? <laughs> Who was that? It's, thank you. I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. What's that picture? There's three people. I don't know what to tell you. I, I assume have a no family. Idea who that was. 
You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto. What? <laughs> in the Somnium world, you are able to investigate objects that have a floating name. Huh? A new object has appeared. Move Iba over to it and investigate. Doop doop. Oh. Winter Iris. A winter iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Couldn't have gotten that from the name. A flower with a woman's name. What? A flower with a woman's name? Are you sure that women aren't just named after the flower? <laughs> sure, smell the flower. Hmm. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Whatever. Visualize what? <laughs> you smelling something? Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. Wait, are we, like, inside of her right now? <laughs> Is that why we don't see Date? Did I miss that part? What? Uh, okay. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you? Amazing suction. Bravo. Marvelous. Why did it get small? What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? You were able to touch it. Huh? Correct. So I just need what to keep this up. What was the expression that he made on <laughs> that question? Something like that. Okay. Can we now? Oh. You can check your progress on the. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you can check your progress on the left side of the screen. Your actions just now advanced your progress. Reach the end to clear the Somnium. You can view controls in the menu. Okay. We just want to press the switch. The switch. The thorns are gone. Is there blood on the switch? Why does it look weird? Maybe that's just how it's colored. Turn on the switch. Now I can activate the switch. But which one? There's two. How do you magically know which one is which? Who's that? <laughs> so many questions. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. What is that skeleton? That? Oh. It's got a red left eye. Like the person whose name I unfortunately forgot already. <laughs> Unlocked. You unlocked the turn on the light mental lock. But there's another mental lock in this Somnium. Unlock the next mental lock using the guide Open the Door as a lead. <laughs> Thanks. You can always check the tutorial by going to Menu File Appendix. Okay. Alright. I want to look at this... Oh, there's a wine. A glass of wine. <laughs> what if I just smell everything? <laughs> Let me investigate it instead. A luxurious red wine, popular on the market today. However, this appears to be a much brighter red than a typical bottle. Maybe it's a full-bodied red from Borgogna. I wonder if that trivia will ever prove useful. Better to be prepared. Okay. I still can't interact with the skeleton, but they do, in fact, have a red left eye. Noted. Uh, oh, basket? A basket. I cannot see inside it. Grab it. <laughs> uh, tackle? <laughs> no, I'm going to search the basket. Those are all very good options, a but I will search the basket. <laughs> a stuffed chupacabra? 
What? And a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? <laughs> a one dollar bill. Occult stuff? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than occult. Right, lamp? A floor lamp shaped like a rose. Kick. <laughs> I'm not gonna turn off the light. I'll kick it. <laughs> what the heck? You don't have to kick it so hard. Why'd the skeleton shake when you kicked it? Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. Hey, Date. Are we gonna get him too? Huh? What? I don't that's that expression is creepy. What are you, a thug? Alright. Wait, which door am I opening? Probably the door that I walked right away from. <laughs> right? Open the door. Which door? Huh? Oh, I can look at the skeleton now. A skeleton? It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Investigate. I won't. <laughs> there are traces of blood around the left eye socket. Even though it's just bone? This skeleton is clinging to some small bit of life. I hope my bones die and stay dead. Like they should. I hope my bones die. <laughs> oh, can I also hit it? I will hit it as well. <laughs> I guess I need to do know both. This skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. No, not skeleton. They're my favorite character. What? I have a look. The wall. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to cut you off. The wall. Um. Ah! Goodbye. <laughs> See you later. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Is the light now casting a hole in the apartment? Who is that? Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. Hmm, a hidden item? Insomnia? There's always one. Somewhere? Hmm, no more. I can't eat anymore. I'm stuffed. Huh? What is that? Uh-huh? <laughs> Do you want me to eat the food? What? Um... Date B acquired. What does that mean? Is there something in the menu? The menu contains a number of functions, such as file, flowchart, options, and guide. This game will autosave, but you can save manually with save. If you would like to end the game, you can return to blah blah blah. Uh, file. File allows you to read information about people you've spoken to or terms you've heard. It is updated as the story advances. You got an album photo. You can earn album photos by finding hidden items or clearing a somnium with more than one second remaining. You can view photos you've collected at any time. Click them all. Okay. Oh, this is just like their profiles. Kaname Date. 30. Uh, Police Officer of Advanced Brain Investigation Squad, Metropolitan Police Department. Likes classic cars, curry, bonito, pelvises, rica. Dislikes soft-boiled eggs, punk kids, ghosts. 
hobbies collects vintage magazines skills re action time increases 3.6 times under certain conditions okay as a sign sir <laughs> i think is that word date uses a sink machine the sink machine to dive into the minds of suspects of persons of interest what <laughs> Date uses the sink machine to dive into the minds of suspects of persons of interest. Of suspects of persons of interest. That looks like there should only be one of those things. <laughs> Either suspects or persons of interest. He lost his eye six years ago, but replaced it with a prosthetic eye, which houses an advanced artificial intelligence known as an eyeball. He also lost his memories past six years ago. Okay. That's why we didn't remember the murders or whatever that happened. Mizuki. 12? She does not look 12. Uh, profession sixth grader. Uh, I won't read all these. Um, overview. Mizuki is... Renju Okiura and Shoko Nadami's daughter. Wait, Nadami is the one who's dead. Okay. Although she's not related to Date, he became her de facto guardian four years ago. The two have lived under one roof ever since. Okay, that's why he was so... Like, I gotta get up there. Or <laughs> whatever... Whatever he saw her in there. I assume that these things will be, like, explained, but, um, you know. Shoko Nadami. She was 36. Uh, investment company representative slash director. Um, Shoko is the ex-wife of that person and Mizuki's mother. On a Friday night in November, she was found on the merry-go-round in the defunct amusement park known as Bloom Park. Her left eye socket was hollowed out. We do, in fact, know that. Oh, wait. Did I just skip Iba? <laughs> My bad. Eyeball. Age five. <laughs> Likes. I wonder what that says. The um, binary there. You like spiders? We can't get along. Profession, investigation assistant. Um, Aiba is an autonomous artificial intelligence. She usually takes the shape of an eyeball and resides in Date's left eye socket. She assists Date by gathering information, connecting to networks and databases, and using her x-ray and thermographic functions. Alrighty boss 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 is date wait they <laughs> she doesn't have a name <laughs> she doesn't have a name listed here okay commander of abyss the special investigation team of the metropolitan police department Boss is Date's direct superior and longtime friend. She appears to be an easygoing optimist with a carefree attitude, but she is as cunning as a fox with a quick wit. Why doesn't she have a name? <laughs> How mysterious. Oh. I don't need to read all these. But what is this? Huh? <laughs> why <laughs> why okay those look like extra things I don't need to look at that right now um okay what am I doing there's a gun a gun came out of the skull investigate why is there a gun it is a house? gun oh it's a key gun you can use it to unlock a door this house has a skeleton in it Anything can happen. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. To have a skeleton? Oh, to have a gun? In fact, 
It is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. That does not... <laughs> who did you okay. hear that from? Yeah, who did you hear that from? Don't you reside in, like, my eye socket? <laughs> who are you talking to that I'm not talking to? A gun. Pick it up. It won't go off? It should be fine. Just don't <laughs> touch the trigger. <laughs> I mean, I guess this is a dream. It could just go off with you touching Look it. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Why were you so concerned with it going off and you directly put your finger over the trigger? Okay. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. What? A uh, door. A door locked with a padlock. Shoot it. No, put gun in keyhole. Do you think something this size would fit? It's got a, it's got key Might stuff. Might fit if you work it in a little. Try just the tip. Shut up. I suppose. I see. There you go. The gun was the key. Amazing. Well, well, well. Seems I was key in helping us escape. Okay, no. <laughs> that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. That's that's what they just Guess said. I'll wake up now. <laughs> Good. I'll open it. That guy shooter. Is that? I couldn't tell if that was us or not. <laughs> it vaguely looked like us. Awaken. Day two, Saturday. Psych eye. What a confusing series of events. <laughs> Police headquarters, Saturday, 9.21 a.m. Good morning, Date. Good morning. And I think we're going to talk to you again next time. Um, because that seemed like it was a good segment. <laughs> a little tutorial, a little intro to things. Um, I am intrigued by this game. I have no idea what's going on. And it doesn't seem like the main character is all there <laughs> he has a lot of questions about things that it seems like he should know already um but uh yeah interesting to, interesting interested to see where this game goes um and what happened the other day uh and i guess i will see you guys in the next one where we find out more about what the heck is going on and what is going on. <laughs> That's all. Um, take care, everybody, and goodbye.